My name is Lorna Reeves and I'm the founder and director of two companies, My and My Weddings and My and My Events, which is a business events company, both online, offline and hybrid. I love the Shift to Success community and mostly love the camaraderie. Um, more importantly so, the accountability. It's the someone to call you out when you haven't done something or when you've committed to delivering a piece of work or getting something done by a certain date, there's somebody in the background that is in your ear and making you do it. Because if you don't take those steps forward, and I'm really guilty of procrastinating, if you don't take that step forward, you're never going to get forward in your business. I think also for me, it's about the people in the group that really celebrate your wins. It doesn't matter if you're right at the beginning of your journey and your win is you went live on Facebook for the first time, or you're towards the end of your journey and you've just made a sale of £5,000. Everybody celebrates you just the same and quite often you can get competitive and jealous people in life. That doesn't happen in a community. Everybody wants to be there and be your biggest cheerleader all of the time. My biggest takeaway from the Shift to Success process has to be feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Um, I was very guilty of overthinking and overcomplicating it in my own head and letting the fear of failure build up and build up so I wouldn't end up stepping forward, I wouldn't end up doing the hard thing that I needed to do. And actually having a process that's mapped out for me and people to hold me accountable has meant that I just have to do it. And the only person that can do it and change my life is me. So um, my biggest takeaway is definitely feeling the fear and doing it anyway. If someone were in the public sector and were really miserable in what they were doing, I would say to them, you do have options. There is a way out, there is something else you can do. Um, it might be shift to success, it might be, it might be something else, but I think we're really good at undervaluing our skill sets and if you've been in the public sector you know how to work under pressure, you know how to multitask, you know how to build relationships with people and all of that is a fundamental for business. So you've already got the skills to be able to run a successful business, you just might need some of the business know-how. Um, so if you're stuck in that position, know that there is a way out, you do absolutely do have options um, and we're all sitting here waiting for you when you want to make that step.